In this lecture, we will understand about atomicity. Now you must be wondering, what does this atomicity refers to? Now, atomicity is basically nothing but the number of atom constituting a molecule. Now, you would have seen that, you know, when you read English, you have singular and you have plural. Singular is one, plural is more than one. Similarly, you would have seen in mathematics, frequency. Frequency is one, two, three, and so on. Similar to these, in chemistry, what you have is, you have atomicity, in so far as atoms are concerned. Now, what do you mean by atomicity? Atomicity is basically the number of atoms constituting a molecule. In the one of the previous videos, where you have read, or you would have understood about the molecules of element, we saw that a helium, the molecule of helium, when I talk about all this, I mean molecule. Molecule of helium is formed only of one atom. Of So if it is formed only of one atom, we call that the atomicity of helium is monoatomic. We say helium is monoatomic. Why? Because it is formed only by one atom. We also saw that to form oxygen, two atoms of oxygen come together. I mean, this name itself suggests as to what? Mono means what? Single, right? Or one. So monoatomic means what? It has only one atom two atoms of oxygen. So this is known as diatomic. Okay. Similarly, depending on the number of atoms, a molecule may be monoatomic, it may be diatomic. In some cases, it can be polyatomic. Let's say the case of sulfur. And so on. So atomicity basically refers to the number of atoms constituting a molecule. If a molecule has only one atom, it is called monoatomic. Two, it is called diatomic. It could be polyatomic, whatever be the number of elements. The mathematical thing is added before the word atomic. Okay, 